Hello everyone, uh, today's video is going to be a bit of a supplement to the 50B one the other day. Uh, I'm going to spend just a few minutes uh, discussing three marks and how you guys uh, maybe can kind of get some insight on uh, how I go about getting them and maybe implement that in your own gameplay and stuff. So, a uh, short one today, nothing too crazy. Um, let's get into it. So, the gameplay in the back is going to be the M60 three mark. Uh, I played this a few days ago, I think it was 140 games and... Uh, like 3,800 DPG, I, I believe. Um, so nothing outrageous, but a, a fun one for me. I certainly enjoyed it a lot. Um, the M60 kind of is nice in the sense it fulfills a lot of the... I guess a lot of the things you look for when you're trying a 3 market tank. It has very, very high uh, heat penetration, which is nice for, you know, general games whenever you're fighting something where you need that uh, extra bit of reliability, whether it's a mouse, Type 5, Jagdpanzer, whatever. Um, it has insane view range and really good mobility. Combine all that with a very, very comfortable gun, and you get a tank that is super comfortable for, for three marking, at least in my experience. Um, so right now, we'll get into uh, past the M60 and sort of the general um, idea for three marks, at least you know the way I go about them. So whenever I'm looking at three marker tank, and I'll, I'll go through the experience with the M60, for example, uh, I use a website nowadays called tomato.gg. I'll link it in the description or the comments or something, and you can check it out. Uh, that has a listing, basically, and they, they keep relatively up to date uh, with the current requirements to 3-mark a vehicle on your respective server, whether that's NA, EU, RU, whatever. Um, and I saw the M60 was pretty low, and I figured, hey, that's one I think I can do. Let's go from there and, and kind of see what's up. So when you're you know, done picking the tank and, and you think, okay, this is the one I want. Um, there are a couple of really important things that I look for, uh, you know, for the characteristics of the tank. Um, in the M60's case, it's the benefit of extremely high view range. So I know um, I don't need to use coded optics because with a good crew, food, all that stuff, I can, um, you know, have way over max view range, which for marks is really important. If you ask, um, you know, skill, if you ask uh, one of my friends from Maho and another CC, uh, Zero, I think he goes by Z now, uh, he has the most marks on the North American server, I'm pretty sure. Um, optics and V range are such a critical part to a, a huge amount of marks because um, V range is, is passive progression. And what I mean by that is, um, let's say the M60 mark, if I remember right, was like 4,300 damage. Um, it's generally harder to do marks in pure damage as opposed to, let's say, in the M60 and 4300. Uh, in my case, I did about 3800 damage per game, but I made the rest up with just passive spotting. And the benefit of spotting over tracking is you don't do anything to get it. You don't have to be good to spot vehicles in the sense that if they're in your view range, they're, you know, you spot them, whatever, that's it. And somebody shoots it, you get the assistance. Um, so for a lot of marks, um, keeping high view range is so, so critical. And in the case of the M60 for me, I chose to use uh, equipment wise. I think I ran, um, vents, rammer, and vert stab because the base view range is so high. So I know that uh, you can see here, I'm, I'm just racking up spotting pretty much for free with, with no consequence. Um, and that really takes a lot of weight off of me to necessarily play well, <laughs> if we're going to be honest. Because I can make up, in an average game, about a thousand assistants, whether it's tracking or spotting. Um, and that really takes a lot of weight off of me to, to try and do 4,000 damage per game. Because for me, um, in a lot of tanks, that's pretty tough. I could do it, you know, in a couple. But, uh, you know, say any tier 10, 4k DPG, I'm just not that good of a player. There are plenty of people who are. Zero skill to kill sword, plenty of people are, but I'm not. So I know my limitations and sort of, um, I try and play into the strengths I know I do have in, in the sense of what. Um, so anyway, uh, something else I really want to mention quick, uh, for people who might not be, uh, totally aware, um, cause I know I wasn't for a huge amount of time. Whenever you're doing assisted damage, whether it's tracking or spotting, you want to choose one, right? To really try and, and crush a lot of, because something a lot of people don't know, myself included for a long time was... When you're going for a three mark, it only chooses, uh, or only takes into account, I should say, um, whatever you have a higher amount of. So, you know, to, to put it as simply as possible, um, it will take, you know, whenever somebody says, let me step back a minute, whenever somebody says, I got 5,000 combined damage, 
Um, it is important to note that does not include blocked damage. That is completely irrelevant. It, it is not even considered in, in the mark equation. Um, however, it's your raw damage plus whatever is higher amongst your spotting and tracking. So, for example, um, if you have, let's say, 1,000 spotting and 500 tracking, only the 1,000 spotting is taken into account because it is higher of the two. They are not combined. It's such a silly little thing that I feel a lot of people don't really know. Um, and it can kind of screw with you because if you think, for example, you had a great game where you got 3,000 assist and it's you know 2,000 spotting, 1,000 tracking, it's only the 2,000 spotting that, that gets taken into account. And it's, it's really important to kind of inform yourself on all the aspects of what makes uh, sort of marks progress uh when you want to get into this um kind of experience i guess uh, i feel marks are a really great way to show the capability of a player um generally whenever i'm looking um you know i'm thinking oh this guy's a good player or a not great player um i generally look at their high tier three marks because the big benefit to marking is it shows you can play consistently well. And that is not something everyone can do. So, whereas you can easily farm uh, WN8, which is, again, a super common um, you know, metric of skill, uh, you can really easily farm that with um, you know, plenty of tanks. But marks, they're, they're, you can't kind of game the system. The way you go about it, well, you kind of can with like platoon mates and that kind of like BS, but, you know, um, when it comes to uh, a lot of marks, it's very much down to your ability to play well. And that's why I like them so much, because it's sort of a, a bit of bragging rights and, and a show of, hey, I'm good enough to play this well uh, consistently. Uh, anyway, I don't want to take up too much more of your time, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Uh, just a short one today. Um, hopefully that gives you some insight and in sort of how I go about marks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, don't let the misconception that, oh, people who go for marks don't win games that often. If you're doing a bunch of damage per game, you're not losing games that much. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys next time and have a good one.